WIS and REITs across America are teaming up to honor our fallen heroes on December 16th, which is this Saturday at noon. REITs are being placed on their graves and we need your help. That's right. This is a nationwide event and it's happening at Fort Jackson National Cemetery. And we've got one of the lead coordinators, Heather Johnson, here this morning to talk about this incredible initiative with Reese Across America. Heather, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And this is such an important day, not only for the soldiers we're honoring at Fort Jackson, but for the soldiers across the country. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me. We truly appreciate the honor that we have to be able to have this event on Saturday. Reese Across America. America. Their mission is to make sure that we remember the fallen, we honor the veterans, and that we make sure that we educate those going forward, the younger generation. So that's really what Saturday is about, is supporting the veterans, but also educating the next generation as well. And then talk about, you know, the, the focus here, the aim as to how, you know, those those soldiers are, are being remembered. What's the, what's the focus here? So what we end up doing is by the end of the day, every headstone will have a wreath. Now the families have an opportunity to lay a wreath on their loved ones grave first and that'll be from about 10 a.m. till about 11:30 a.m. and then we have a very moving service that will begin at noon the public is welcome to attend that and that service is wonderful it's a reminder as to why we're here why we honor them and we remind folks when you're laying the wreath to please say that veterans name out loud that way we know that they will never be forgotten and then after the service is when uh, members of the public can then assist with laying the rest of the wreaths on all the graves you know, but a way to remember them, like you said, making sure that these soldiers are never forgotten. Absolutely. Heather, talk about personally why you've gotten involved with Reefs Across America. <laughs> well, it's actually something that is very near and dear to my heart. I have some family members. I also had a son who was very interested in the military. That was his, his goal and his dream as well. But what I find to be more interesting about this event is actually not about me. It's about the other families who have family members. It is my hope that by the end of the day, they feel the love and the support of the community. They not just know it, but they feel that this community really does stand behind their one who was interred at the cemetery as well as themselves as well. I hope they feel that gratitude that we have for them. And, you know, talk about beyond this event, how else uh, is the organization really helping to bring awareness to, you know, our fallen soldiers? They do a variety of events. We actually just had a ceremony at the State House uh, just a few days ago that was very moving. They do a variety of events throughout the year to make sure, again, that the veterans are remembered, that they are not forgotten, and that the different family members do know that the nation does support them and does appreciate them and that we are grateful for their service. The, obviously, the gratitude of the veteran is most and primary, but it is for the family as well because obviously they sacrifice a lot too. Absolutely. So this nationwide event is going to be happening on Saturday. Heather, talk about how community members can get involved. Well, we have over 400 volunteers who have already signed up to help. So it's going wow. to be a very big event. Um, we ask that everybody come to the Blue Cross Blue Shield parking lot on Percival Road. That's the staging area and that's where all the parking will be because there is no parking allowed at the cemetery. And so everybody will come there and we have shuttles that we'll be going to and from the cemetery throughout the entire day with the exception of during the service. We will temporarily halt service at, at noon out of respect for the ceremony, but then they will resume again at one o'clock. So we ask that everybody come to the Blue Cross Blue Shield building, and that is where they will get to the cemetery for the various assignments. That is where families will come to also take the shuttles when it's time for them to place the wreaths, and the same for the members of the public who wish to attend the ceremony and then assist with laying wreaths after. So talk about some of the challenges and some of the needs uh, in putting this event on every year and throughout the year. Well, as we know, obviously Fort Jackson has burials all the time. Mm -hmm. So when this started 15 years ago, we only had about 300 graves. Mm -hmm. We now have over 9,000. I believe it's like 9,600. Wow. Wow. Hence the need for 400 plus volunteers. Yes. Plus we have the members of the community that come out for this and the family members. So it is a very large undertaking. Um, some of us will be starting as early as probably 530 in the morning morning oh, yeah. <laughs> to get this event, but it wouldn't be possible without the community, without the support of our sponsors. We, for 15 years in a row, have been able to have a wreath on every grave. Mm. 
And so that is thanks to the community. So between their support financially with the donations for the Rees, as well as the support with them physically climbing out to help, they truly, we could not do this without the community. They are the backbone of this event, truly. Absolutely. The Midlands, you know, they are such a supportive yes. community when absolutely. it comes to our veterans and our soldiers, and I absolutely love that. Heather, lastly here, just talk about what you hope participants will be able to take away from such an important event like this. You know, that's a very interesting question. I've had the privilege of helping with a variety of events within the community, and this one certainly is like no other. Anytime you leave an event, you have a sense of purpose, you have this feeling that you were grateful, you could assist. This one takes on a whole nother level mm -hmm. because you're dealing with veterans and their families. So the range of emotions is really quite an honor, to be perfectly honest. It is very much an honor. But again, it's more about how do the families feel at the end of the day? Do they feel the support of the community? Do they know that their veteran is remembered and is being honored? And if they can say yes, then we've, we've accomplished our mission. Absolutely. Well, Heather, thank you so much for being here. It was thank an you. honor to have you thank here you this very morning. Much. Thank and you. we cannot wait about this great event happening this weekend. We hope that everyone can come out and participate to, of course, support our veterans and thank their you. families.